Hi everybody, this is Shauna from Shauna.Climbs on Instagram and here on YouTube. So today is Tuesday. Tuesday means we talk about the digital paper challenge and we use some custom scene items. So this week for the digital paper challenge, we have Digital Gator Designs as our contributor and she's contributed these four gorgeous papers. I love the colors. They have um, some really fun textures on them. Here, let me open it up here. You can see it, it looks like the paper is folded. There's some shadows, a little bit of crinkles. I just love the look of these papers. Um, I think they're really a lot of fun. So we're going to use we're going to do something actually a little bit different um, because I made something and I'm pretty excited about it. So I thought I would show you guys how to make like a really simplified version um, because I probably spent eight hours on this and uh, I don't want to make an eight hour video and I've already done it. So this, 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 let's, let's stop hinting about it and I will show you. I have been a little bit not motivated to work lately, uh, to plan lately. Well, I'm never motivated to work. I haven't been very motivated to plan lately. And the my work planner is my most important planner. So um, I thought maybe if I changed it up and made a new planner for work, that that would kind of get me excited about getting at least my work planning like tip top um every day using it because I'm I'm just starting to be a little bit all over the place. Um so I made a new work planner using the custom scene files and using a digital paper package that I bought from Jennifer Crowder Art. So Jennifer Crowder um she was our contributor in the beginning like week three maybe week four and she's gonna I have she gave me a bunch of papers and I only shared a couple of them or one of them I think so I'm going to share some more soon in the next few weeks um but I did buy one of her uh, two of her kits and this one is called patchwork you can see it's got lots of really fun kind of scrappy Stuff. It's got like typewriter fonts. It's got kind of a vintage feel. Totally up my alley. So I made myself a planner using her paper. So you'll recognize these three papers um, as ones that I just scrolled through. Here's my first page. And I have an index page. Each of these are linked and a little elastic takes me to the cover or I can hit the index tab and it will take me to the index and then I have a monthly page and you can see I made it so that my tab moves over so this is January there's one monthly and six weeklies then we get to February and we see the February tab moved over there's also links at the beginning of each month that takes me to that week. And then once we get to the end of the weeks, you can see each of the tabs. And I put the little tab on the top of the paper so you know which page you're on. Because in my past work planner, these ones were just static. And so you didn't really know which page you were on. And then my back cover. So I'm super excited to use this. I just finished it after work today. Um, so I will um, switch my old work planner into this work planner and maybe be a little more planned instead of winging it quite so much. We'll see, who knows? It's the fun of being able to, to do it yourself um, is I could change it up again in a few months if I wanted as well, if I'm willing to put in the time because it is very time consuming to make a planner. So we're gonna make a planner, or I think maybe just a journal. So let's pick I think I want the one with the binder. 
All right, let's do this one. I'm just gonna delete those. I'm just setting up my my center bit here. Okay, so I think we've got everything more or less back to the beginning. So we're gonna keep it a little bit simple um, because we're making a planner, not just a daily spread. So I'm actually gonna turn off just about everything. All I'm gonna leave is my planner base. <clears throat> I am going to add a photo and I have the the four photo the four peepers here in my camera roll. So I think I'm gonna pick this one. And I just need to stretch it so it's big enough to cover my journal. And I'm just gonna open up the planner base group here and drag that on top of the planner base and it automatically applied a clipping mask to it. Okay, now we need to pick what color we want for our binder. I saw somebody masked the binder spine um, in the Facebook group today with the plaid paper and it looked really cool. Um, I'm going to keep it a little bit simple, so I'm not going to do that for this video. I'm just going to insert one of these pages. Where did they go? I think I'll do this one. I'm going to select my paintbrush, and I'm going to pick a, mat a color to use for my metallic Maybe the blue. I'm just gonna hide that. I'm gonna choose the color drop part. That's kind of cool. Okay, so then I'm gonna say copy canvas and I'm gonna paste that onto my page. And then I'm going to go and grab my double-sided rings and we're going to drag that blue color onto each of the rings as well. Oh, I hope that means that it might be time to get a new sleeve for my pencil when the cap starts falling off. <laughs> So you gotta drop it right on the ring. This can drive us all crazy. You have to actually have the ring selected before you drop it. I'm all distracted now by my cap on my stylus wanting to fall off. We have some blue rings here. There we go. And again, we'll go to the wrench, copy canvas, gallery, into our planner, and paste. And it automatically positions it exactly where it's meant to be. Now that I'm looking at it, don't know how much I love this blue. But it's what we have to work with unless I change it. Hmm. What do you think? Should we switch to the red or maybe the purple? Maybe this dark purple? up to the top. 
top layer. Nope, I don't think I want that one either. Oops, let's pick a, maybe the pink, this pinky purple, or maybe the red. Hmm, I think I like that one. Let's try that. Okay, copy canvas. It's the fun part of making it yourself. You can just keep trying different things until you see what you like. And that works with that. Okay, I think we're gonna go with that. Let's change these rings. Oh my gosh. And I like, now I drew a little dot there, so I'll say undo. Maybe we'll just go capless. Is that like topless? My pencil is topless. Don't look. Oh, I'm being silly. Okay. Oops. Copy canvas. Now we'll go and paste that in and see what we think. Yeah, okay, let's go with that. So I think I'm gonna call that one done. And we need a cover. Which I'm not sure. I think I don't have a lock. I just turned off all the lock parts. It's just a leather bound book. And we'll open up the cover here. I'm gonna turn off that part with the text. And I'm gonna insert a photo. Maybe we should do a different one. Is that kind of weird that we well no because the other's the inside so we could totally have the outside a different color oh i like the plaid all right plaid it is so you know what i think we're gonna keep it on this one i'm so indecisive And I think I am going to put this little lock thing on. I'm going to make the lock the pattern. So you can't really see a lot of it there. We'll shrink it down a bit. And lock opened. So let's duplicate that so that it's the same size. And make that a clipping mask. Ugh, that might be a little much. <laughs> I'm thinking maybe I won't do that. Oh, that made a neat effect. Yeah. I'm not too sure that's that's working for me. Hmm. 
let's try putting this dark one oops I don't know what I did there okay so I just duplicated that and we're gonna do this instead not a group. There we go. Clipping mask. Oh, that's getting busy. Okay, I'm going to turn the background off. I think this might be better. I was setting it up as locks open, but I wonder if I made it as the closed lock so that it's over top. So now I got extra lock bits. So let's get rid of some stuff here. We don't need the open lock. So we can close that. And we don't need the open button. We don't need that. That's a bit better. Okay. I'm liking it now. And we've used now three of the papers. <laughs> Look at us go. Okay, so we have an open journal, we have the front cover, and it's all just a mishmash of all three of the Digital Gator papers. Oh my goodness. That's the latest I think the garbage truck has ever come. It's 9.45, that's insanity. Okay, so I'm gonna go share PNG. And I'm going to save this as an image. I'm going to do the same thing with this one. Share PNG. And save that as an image. Okay. So now I have my journal. We need to make our inside our front cover. So we need to get do just one side. I'm going to duplicate. Kate, this just in case. I'm going to delete the rings. I'm going to delete that. And this one we want to say copy canvas. Oh, actually, I'm going to turn the lines off. There we go. We need to make the rings that have only the hole punch on one side. We'll just quickly change the color of those. I always like to make all my metallics the same color. So the center of the um, the center of the binder. If you're struggling to drop it, I think there's another way you can change the color um, by clipping, clicking on this. I don't know what it is, but you can also just zoom in. Okay, 
It also helps if you drop it on the right item. Okay, and copy canvas. There we go. So now it looks like we have some binder rings, nice fun and bright. So wrench, share, PNG, save image. Okay, so now we've used the custom scene templates. Um, these, all of these files that I've used, you can purchase from custom scene. My affiliate link is in the description to the video. Um, so you can purchase these from custom scene and you can use them to customize a million things. The bundle, it's like 50 bucks. It's a little pricey, um, but you get so much and it's endlessly customizable. You can do so much with all these different things. It's fantastic. I'm thinking we could take this little sticker here. This is also a custom scene file. Everything in that package is. I'm gonna add text and say journal, and I'm just gonna select it, and let's pick a more fun font, something really thick. We can make it bigger. See how when I'm dragging it, there's a yellow line? It almost, when you hit the yellow line, that means it's centered. So that's centered left to right and top to bottom. Not sure if I want to stick with that color. Let's say copy canvas. This is busy. Not sure I'm loving all this. <laughs> It's not my normal, like I love it, but it's not my normal style. So many patterns and prints. Um, hmm. Let's work with it. We can try. We'll give it a go. So I'm going to go share, PNG, and save image. Okay, so now we're going to hop on over to Keynote. Keynote is a presentation app. I'm pretty sure it just comes free with your Apple devices. Um, it's not my favorite thing. Previous planners that I've made, I actually did everything in Keynote. I brought the images into Keynote, um, edited them there, and it was way horrible. Editing it all in Procreate, in, yeah, Procreate, let me show you. I saved everything so that if I want to make it again, I um, it's easy to just change the colors. So like I have my front cover, my back cover, my open cover. Here's all of the tabs. Um, that's other stuff. But you see, I've saved it all. So I edited it all in Procreate and then I just sort of like turn things on and off. So I can put... There's my right side tabs and left side tabs. They're both there. So I just hid the ones that I didn't want. And then I take a save the image um, as I flip through the pages. And I just moved the things around and then saved it. As opposed to trying to do all that editing in Keynote, which I don't like the Keynote editing interface quite as much. But it's really handy for setting up your pages, copying your layouts, and linking. So... I'm going to hit the plus button here. I'm going to choose a theme and I'm just going to choose a basic presentation. Now, if I hit these three little dots, you go to document setup 
you can choose a different theme and you can also choose your slide size. I like to use square um, a lot, but I think I'm going to go with the 4x3 because the planner that we made is um, a wide, kind of shorter planner. If I do square, half my page is going to be planner and I'm going to have big half page empty space and I don't want that much empty space. You can also do custom and choose your pixels if you want more or less pixels. Um, remember that these planners get real big real fast. Oops, I did not save that. I want this one here, four by three. What does this one have? 1920 by 1080. Yeah, I'm gonna go with this one. I'm gonna say done this time so it saves it. So there's my slide. Now, I'm going to delete all of this. I'm going to hit this little paintbrush and I'm going to say edit slide layout. And I'm going to choose this blank one here. So this is going to be, um, actually no, I'm going to duplicate the blank one so it's not gone. These other ones are just defaults. So I'm going to rename this. I'm going to call it cover and say done. Now for my background, I want to choose image. So I hit the paintbrush and the background, I'm going to hit this arrow. We can do color, gradient, I'm going to do image. I'm going to change my image, I'm going to choose a photo and we're going to grab one of these. I'm going to do this one. And now there's color overlay here. I like to take the white and just, you can change the opacity with this little slider. I'm gonna do 70 and it just lightens that background. You can use other colors as well. Like I chose white, but you could you can make all sorts of neat effects. I don't actually want to change the color. I like the color just how it is. I just want it a little bit lighten because it's essentially my desktop for my journal. So now I'm going to say done. And here I'm going to choose that layout that I just made. So now this page, this is my cover page. It is, it has that layout that we made saved to it. If I say add, I can select this and now see I have page two and it has automatically has this layer on it. I'm gonna go here, add, and then the little image is already selected. So I'm gonna say photo or video and I'm gonna grab the planner that we made. There's lots of different effects you can use. You can put shadows and reflections and opacity. We've already edited it in Procreate so we don't really need to edit it again here. Um, I want to tilt it though. It's edited, it's, it's coming in like the same size as the, as the page because custom scene has the, um, okay, I don't even know what it's doing now. Let's hit undo. Where's my image? Okay, so you can resize it. And I'm just gonna tilt it just a little. And it does the same thing with the yellow center uh, that Procreate does. So now it's tilted and it's right in the center of my page. Okay, so we can go to page two now. And I'm going to say edit slide layout again. And I'm going to tap my cover and say duplicate. And I'm going to rename this. Um, this will be our layout for the inside. 
So now we will hit, so we're still in edit slide layout and now we're editing a new slide layout. So it automatically copied our background over and we're going to insert a photo again. So this is our front page. Actually, Okay, so I'm going to leave that actually right where it inserted it, and I'm going to rename this again, and we're going to call this uh, index, and then I'm going to add a slide layout, I'm going to copy the cover again, and this one we're going to call inside. Okay, so now on this slide layout, we're on slide layout inside again. I'm going to bring this one over. And you can see, so we have our cover, we have our open, and we have this. Now, I'm going to, I'm still editing my layout. I'm going to hit plus, and I'm going to choose the shape icon. I'm going to grab this little square. And I'm going to... Sometimes it wants me to use my finger and sometimes it wants me to use the stylus. I'm pretty sure there's a setting somewhere that I need to change. Okay, so I've made a little square. I'm going to hit the paintbrush while I have that square selected. You can see the little blue dots are there. And now I'm going to edit that square. So I'm going to take my fill and I'm going to say no fill. So now it is a see-through square. If I tap the square again, I can say link. And the link is going to take us, we can see where we want it to go to. If we want it to go to the first slide, the cover, or we can pick which slide number we want it to go to. So I'm going to link that center piece to slide two, which will take us to the index. So we have one little link there. Now let's say done. And so we're going to pick for this layout, we're going to pick our index, I'm going to add another page, and this time I'm going to choose this one. And we can make a whole bunch of inside pages, I don't know how many you want to do. There you go. And now I'm going to insert my plane. It was my cover page, but we'll put it at the end. Let's go back to Procreate. We'll go back to this crazy cover that we have. I'm actually going to duplicate that. Great, we don't need our sticker and we don't need our locks. All I want is the planner. So now I'm going to grab this planner cover. Actually, I'm going to take this paper out and just turn it off. I'm going to take this planner cover and I'm selecting the entire group. I collapse the group and I'm selecting the group. I'm going to hit the arrow key button here. I'm going to flip horizontal, and now my planner is reversed, and I'm going to insert my image back in and turn it back on. And you can kind of position it, like see I don't like how there's that line there. So you can kind of position it however you need for the pattern to be the way you like it. So now we can say share, PNG, and copy. We'll go back into Keynote, and I'm going to say add. I'm going to hit the photo tool. 
add a photo. Oh, I hit paste. Will it let me paste? Oh, magical. Okay, so I did copy, not um, save to files. So that's why it wasn't in my camera. It was there. And just like we did with the cover, we can tilt this just a little and change the size. And then we'll just make sure it's centered. There's our yellow line. It doesn't look centered because it's centering the shadow. So I'm just going to shift it over a bit. And there's our back cover. And now we have made this bright and colorful journal using the papers from Digital Gator Designs and the Procreate files from Custom Scene. And what are we at? We are at 36 minutes in. My battery's almost dead, so I gotta wrap this up. Uh, 36 minutes, and we have made a 10 page journal. It has one link here. And you can see the link has been copied onto every page because we did it as the template. So that link will take us back to this page. Um, but there you go, super quick journal using custom scene, Procreate, and Keynote and digital papers. And it was quick, 30 minutes, look at us go. So I hope you like that, it's something a little different. Um, and uh, make sure you check out the Facebook group. You can download the digital papers for free for this week's challenge. Use the hashtag digital paper challenge when you share it so we can find it and see it and be inspired by you. Um, the custom scene affiliate link will be in the description as well as all of the links for Digital Gator Designs. Make sure you visit her Etsy shop and show her some love. Follow her on Instagram and join her Facebook group. I think that covers everything. I'll be back in a couple days to talk about Pink Punch Studio new releases. So I will see you then. Until then, have a great couple days. Bye, everybody. Hey, everyone. I totally wrapped up that video and then I realized I didn't show you how to get your journal out of Keynote. Um, I've already like gone upstairs and I'm sitting on my couch, so I'm not going to film my hands, but I will try and talk through what I'm doing and just do this screen record. So I'm going to tap presentations and I'm going to go back here. I'm going to say select and I'm going to tap this and I'm going to say share. I'm pretty sure there's a menu that you can pick when you're in the planner, but this is how I like to do it. I'm going to say for share file in iCloud. No, I'm not. Let's try that again. Share export as a PDF. I'm just going to leave these defaults and export. Presentation number seven it is called. And I'm going to say save to files and it's in my downloads. So I'm going to say save. Now if we go to my files and I go to my downloads folder, you can see this little tiny 10 page journal, we're going to just let it finish updating here and we'll see how big it is. It's almost done. There we go. 40 megabytes for 10 pages, which is ridiculous. So um, my 98 page um, yearly planner ended up being about 100 megabytes and I compressed it down to 22. So when you want to compress something, just Google PDF compressor. The Adobe one is my favorite. Sometimes it makes you sign in. Um, but it's free. I think mine will just log me in automatically, close, compress. Where are we here? It didn't do this before. See, here's all the other stuff that I've made and compressed. Oh, now I'm just totally confused. I 
I don't want a free trial. I don't. Here we go. Okay, compress. Now it's working. Select a file. So I'm going to pick this presentation. And it's just finding it. Takes a minute. I didn't think it would take this long. But it's thinking it is a pretty big size. There we go. So there's our presentation. I usually do medium. There's the... Because um, you want it not to get too blurry. If you do high compression, I usually find that it kind of makes it look a little more blurry and pixely. Medium works for me. So we'll press that. And we'll give it a minute. There we go. So we've gone from 38 megabytes down to 8 megabytes, which is way better. And then here is our fantastic journal. We can say download. And download. And then that's gone to our files. So if we go look at files, now we have two planners here. So this is the first one that we made. Oops. And you can see give it a minute there we go looks blurry at first but it takes a minute and then it crisps up so that's our original one here is our compressed one hmm. there we go so see it once you give it a second to crisp up you can't even tell it doesn't look blurry at all to me and we've gone from 40 megabytes to 9 megabytes. So maybe we, with this one, we could have done the best compression and maybe it would have come out nice and clear. Um, but you do want to do that compressed step. Otherwise, you're going to have a massive file. So I'm going to tack this on to the end of the video that I recorded. Um, my photo or my video editing skills are crap. So it's just going to be tacked on the end. Little PS for you guys. This is how you export it out and compress it. And then we all know how to import it into GoodNotes. Easy peasy. We import, pick our little planner. And done. And now you can journal in the new journal that you made. How awesome is that? So I'm gonna tack this on the end of the video. And I'm signing off for real this time. See you guys on Thursday. Bye.